And earlier we spoke with strategic analyst Brahma Chalani on this latest uh, venture by India. Let's listen in. Well, it comes at a time when India was very vulnerable to China's use of anti-satellite weaponry. China and Russia are both developing potent anti-satellite weapons. China has ground-based direct accent missiles that can kill satellites. It also has laser weapons that can blind satellites. So to build deterrence against China, that is to discourage China from early on in the conflict, seeking to kill Indian space-based platforms, India had to develop an anti-satellite capability. So through this live kill this morning, India has delivered a deterrent signal to China that if China were to attack Indian satellites in a future war scenario, that China's own satellites would come under Indian attack. So it's a way to defend yourself by seeking to develop this capability and thereby to underpin deterrence. There are two things here. First, India is already a world-class space power. When it sent a mission to the Mars successfully, and it was a pretty low-cost mission to the Mars, India not only surprised the world, it demonstrated its capability in the civilian space technologies. Now, India is demonstrating its capability in the military realm in terms of counter space capability. And this capability has become important because space wars are not just a matter of Hollywood movies. There have been several Hollywood movies that have that have been focused, uh, centered on wars in space. But wars in space are becoming a military reality because we have an adversary of India, a next door neighbor, China, that has deployed several different types of anti-satellite weapons. Then you have United States, which is the leader in anti-satellite weaponry, and Russia, which also has pretty formidable anti-space capabilities that actually date back to the Cold War period. So India was very vulnerable to a Chinese first strike against India's satellites. So to defend India's satellites from a preemptive Chinese strike, India had no option but to develop this asset that is anti-satellite capability. India's defense capability is very heavily dependent on conventional arms imports, whether tanks, fighter jets, or even artillery guns, they imported. But when it comes to frontier technologies, technologies that no nation will sell to India, whether it's anti-satellite weaponry, whether it's missile capability, whether it's nuclear weapons, India in those frontier areas is self-sufficient. And it raises the question that if India can actually carry out a successful kill of a satellite with its own technology, with its own weapon, why can't India build its own artillery weapons? Why can't India build its own fighter jets and, 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 and main battle tanks? We are too heavily dependent on imports because it's easier for the Indian decision makers to buy stuff off the shelf from foreign, from foreign markets rather than invest those resources in domestic arms production and in domestic research and development. We need to draw lessons from our success today and from our success in other frontier technologies, including missile technologies and nuclear weapon technologies, to expand and strengthen our defense 